UMass Boston Baseball looking to pick up some momentum heading into the Little East Conference Tournament next week, taking on 13th in the nation Eastern Connecticut State University in an LEC doubleheader at home. And it would be the Beacons getting on the scoreboard first. Drew Metzdorf, an RBI fielder's choice in the first inning, gives the Beacons a 1-0 lead. But Eastern Connecticut would respond against Dylan Ryan in the fourth inning as Matt Malcolm hits a towering fly ball to left field. The two-run home run puts the Warriors back in front 2-1. to one. Luke Levitt, though, would tie it up with an RBI single in the bottom half of the frame. We're all tied up at two before the Warriors regain control as two runs would come across on a wild pitch and fielder's choice, and then Matt Malcolm's RBI single makes it a 5-2 ball game, and the Warriors weren't done there. They would add two more runs in the very next inning as Brent Coscaluela would get a two-run single. Two runs come across, and it's 7-2 Eastern Connecticut, but the Beacons would not go down quietly. Johnny Zerilli Jr., a two-run home run in the eighth inning, his sixth of the season, leads the team in that category, makes it just a three-run ball game. And then later on, Luke Levitt, an RBI single in the eighth, makes it a one-run game. At that point, Eastern Connecticut would go to Nolan Lincoln in the bullpen, who would get the last four outs of the game to retire the Beacons, who dropped this one by a final score of 7-5. to But they come back in game two, regroup, and the Beacons would roll. The offense continuing their momentum from that eighth inning in game one, which would help propel them to a game two victory as Breon Parker scores on a wild pitch against Matt Wooten with the Beacons trailing one nothing, And then Boston Burr scores on this error on the throw by Wooten. And now just like that, UMass Boston is in front two to one. Craig Corliss, an RBI single, his first of three hits on the afternoon, scores yet another run. Beacons are ahead Three to one. Justin Gavea, the freshman outfielder, then gets in on the action as well. His RBI single nets another run across the plate for UMass Boston, who starts this game off with a four to one lead. And they continue to roll from there as later on it would be Craig Corliss with a two run double in the second inning. UMass Boston in full control, six to one as they get to the Warrior bullpen. But the Warriors would not go down quietly either. It's now a 6-4 to four ball game in the fourth. Jason Claiborne with an RBI triple makes it a one-run game. You see Claiborne hustling around on that ball, hit to right field, gets in the third safely, but the Beacons would maintain that one-run lead and they would build upon it. As you see, Justin Gavea scoring on an errant throw by Matt Malcolm makes it a 7-1 to one game. And then Craig Corliss, his third hit of the afternoon, a two-run double makes it 9-5 to five and the Beacons would end up rolling from there to win 9-5. to five. They finished conference play at 10-6. and six. And with that, they will be the fourth seed in the Lilies Conference Tournament next week. And they will take on the three-seeded University of Southern Maine, who they were swept by in April of this year on the road in the first day of the tournament at 2 o'clock p.m.